Alright, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this Iron Man 3 Red Snapper and this is a PAL pose figure and uh, which is my first PAL pose and then there it is, Hot Toys PAL pose Red Snapper and uh, on the side, same thing, name on the back same thing and uh, let's uh, take a look at this figure and all the accessories that it comes with Alright, and here we have Red Snapper outside the packaging and uh, the accessory that it comes with is this um, Stark Industry Red Snapper base. Uh, too bad they didn't uh, give him the same base as um, all the other uh, Iron Man figures now. Uh, that would have been nice, but uh, this is somewhat different and, uh, and it looks like a very, very painful looking base. Because uh, as you can see, there's a probe right here. And uh, in order for you to um, set him up on the space, uh, he has a little pinhole right up his butt. So just uh, poke that right on down onto this thing, and uh, he'll be able to stand properly. And uh, here's the figure. So let's take a look at the figure itself. And uh, it's quite nice. Uh, as far as the paint job and everything, uh, even the plastic they chose, uh, it's very, very similar to your regular MMS figure. Um, the paint job is really nice, uh, very, uh, very clean, very, very shiny too. And um, uh, here's a look at the head sculpt. And uh, um, he does come with, uh, well, uh, comes with quite a few articulation points too. Uh, I, I'm, I'm guessing this is basically the same as your regular MMS figure, uh, without some shifting parts and all that. But uh, overall, it is, uh, it is quite an amazing figure, and uh, it's almost, almost. Uh, as your regular MMS figure. Uh, the only part that uh, this figure is missing is the domino articulation. Uh, he does have head rotation and then the neck movement as well and then shoulders on a ball joint and uh, there's also a swivel bicep and a hinge elbow. And then we have no articulation around the midsection and then uh, the hips are on the ball joint and then these uh, thighs uh, uh, these panels uh, on the front of his uh, thighs can shift up and down is mainly for um, articulation purposes and uh, knees are on the hinge and the ankles are also on the hinge so as far as articulation uh, this thing is uh, pretty much like your regular MMS, MMS figure and here's the back side of uh, Red Snapper. And he too comes with uh, light up features, so that's neat. And look at how shiny his armor is. Just the other side, don't fall. And uh, oh, and uh, these pinchers are also articulated. Uh, and the piston doesn't go up and up and down or anything like that, but uh, overall, they're kind of neat. And I do really like the head sculpt, uh, the helmet of this Iron Man. Uh, you might notice why mine is a little bit loosey goosey around the neck area. It's because when I was uh, pulling this um, head off uh, to try and switch it with the Tony Stark hat, uh, a piece of the peg broke, which I'll show you in a second. But let's take a look at the. Hmm. Chest, and there's the light right there. They didn't cheap out on the on the detailing uh, on this figure. For this figure, uh, it's it's like I said, it's basically the same as your regular MMS figure. They just call. Uh, they just uh, decide to. Um, well, I don't know if there's any cheaper. I guess if you if you're getting this. As an MMS, then he might cost about 300 or maybe a little bit more. Because the size, he's only a tad bit taller than your regular Iron Man figures, but uh, he does have a lot of detailing. Just look at those knees inside, 
and those ankles. Look at that. Got all the intricate details in here. Quite amazed by this figure. And here's Red Snapper all lit up. And uh, we have eyes. Shot really bright. And then we have the chest. And then uh, the prongs. Two lights down here. So, uh, very, very happy with this. And the batteries are pre installed. And uh, as far as the uh, posability, this guy is. Uh, well, has a lot of parts on him, so uh, it does hinder a lot of the articulation. And uh, here on the on the elbows, this is as far as it's gonna go. Uh, so it's not really even 45 degrees. Uh, it's only like a 20 degree uh, turn there. And then uh, the shoulders are ball jointed, but uh, the shoulder pad you gotta worry about scratching it with the armor itself. And then knees. This is basically how far I could bend up. Because uh, even though you slide down this uh, thigh piece, uh, still don't have a whole lot of room for you to bend his knees, uh, uh, bend his uh, hips, uh, legs, and uh, the the uh, the knee. This is how far it's gonna go. Because the piston on the back, you can see, is pretty much pushing all the way already. So you're just still not gonna get a 90 degree angle from this guy. So. Um, that's why when you see the uh, uh, prototype photos, uh, this is the stand he's going to give you because this is how much he could actually do. So uh, as far as articulation, not the greatest, but uh, for for a Iron Man, um, most of my uh, most of my Iron Mans are just standing uh, in a static pose, so. Um, it's not gonna do a whole lot of uh, dynamic poses with these, uh, and I wasn't expecting a lot either. Uh, just the fact that he could stand straight would be enough for me, as far as this guide. Okay, so here's the piece I was talking about. Uh, when you pop his head off, uh, you see a. Uh, let me see if I can show you guys. You see a ball joint right there, and uh, it is um, um, attached to. Uh, you can see one side is still attached while the other piece uh, broke off completely which is this little piece right here all I have to, uh, all I have to do now is uh, to glue it back down hopefully that will work um, but uh, yeah there's the ball joint down here and uh, where you could pop uh, Tony Stark's head in there and there's the back plate and uh, there's the on off switch on the back and again you would have to unscrew this to remove the batteries from the uh, art reactor and then the arms uh, there's an on off switch right there and the battery compartment is right there on the other side and uh, the head uh, is basically on the neck so you have to remove those and uh, this piece fell off it's basically the top of his uh, helmet and uh, here's what the helmet looks like from the inside. You can see it's painted white just so the light would reflect better. But yeah, this just pops in. Uh, yeah. So again, this I would have to need to glue down as well. So right now I'm just gonna uh, let his head and fall in uh, for now because I took the ball joint out. Um, so overall, is this figure worth getting? Um, only if you're a diehard Iron Man fan and you really enjoy all the armors and you really enjoy the film. Uh, that's the only way you could justify this purchase because uh, this figure, uh, this character was only in the movie for like a couple of seconds. And uh, if you're going to spend 250 bucks for a, f for a figure, that was only represented in the film for a couple of seconds uh, you would either have to really really like Iron Man or um, or 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 nothing else that's it uh, otherwise uh, I wouldn't recommend this um, the quality of this figure is uh, basically the same as your MMS figure but uh, it definitely can't compare to diecast of course 
Uh, you wouldn't expect to compare this with diecast, but uh, overall, I do enjoy this figure. I do like it a lot, and uh, it's gonna go great with all my other armors. So uh, there you go, uh, Hot Toys Red Snapper. Thanks for watching.